Hey guys, Ryan here, Southern Reptiles. Just out here hanging out with some tortoises as usual. This is one of my young female Indian stars. Trying to see if she's interested in some cactus. I love this species. Although the Indian stars are difficult to keep in Florida outside just because of the humidity and the constant rain, if you are able to succeed with them, they're just an awesome species to keep. I actually keep a few of these outside. I bring them in when it gets cooler and if it's gonna be raining for a few days straight, I'll bring them in. But for the most part, they actually do pretty well in the, uh, the summer here. It's actually when we get into the cooler time of the year and it rains, that's when they do not so well because they get the moisture and the low temperatures and it's just too too tough for them. Would they do okay in Alabama? I mean, yeah, they probably would actually. It all depends on how you set them up. I have them in here on a, they're actually kind of raised up off the ground a little bit so this doesn't flood out. Um, and they do, they do better with this, just um, the rainwater doesn't collect and they don't sit in the puddles of water so, and they don't develop any respiratory problems. I just put some new mulch in here. Some red foots, oh, perfect timing. <laughs> These guys are in full swing with breeding, so they're knocking each other over all the time. I just have one male and four females in here. This is one of my three groups of adult redfoots. Can I compare these with Burmese stars? Burmese stars are actually easier to keep than the Indian stars. Burmese stars, I think, are even hardier than the Indian stars. Just the Indian stars are a lot more sought after because they're they're the smallest of the star tortoises. You have the Indian stars, the smallest, then the Sri Lankan star, and then the Burmese star is the largest. So, yeah, they're definitely the most sought after. Yep, I agree with Ed. Just keeping the redfoots outside, it's it's almost too easy. They just thrive here. I'm in the process of cleaning some water dishes, which is always fun. These cherry heads seem to, they never fail to uh, dirty their water. I changed the water and 12 hours later, it's black. It's mostly just they, they walk through it and the dirt falls off them into the water. This is one of my crown jewels right here, Darth Maul. He's ready to breed. Do I order cactus? No, I, I, I grow cactus everywhere. I've literally cactus everywhere. <laughs> 
As you can see, I have bananas growing everywhere as well. Plenty of bananas, cactus, cocoa plum. I have some hibiscus growing. Yeah, it grows well here. In the summer, it stunts the growth a little bit from all the rain, but in the winter time, if you want to call it the winter time here, when it's dry, the cactus grows like crazy. This right here is actually one of the oldest male cherry heads I've ever seen. He was given to me by a couple up in... I think they were from like Jupiter, Melbourne area up that way. And he's probably at least 50 years old. I mean, you could tell by his shell. His shell is very worn, but he's a big cherry head, really big. I mean, he's, I have a size 11 shoe and he's bigger than my foot. So that, that's a big cherry head. This female was recently given to me. Her shell's in rough shape but she's uh she lays eggs and she does well here she's she's happy she wants some cactus too she's looking for food <laughs> i gotta clean that I got more bananas here, bananas there, bananas here, <laughs> there's some behind there. <laughs> this is another one of my female cherries. Looks like my wife. My Wi-Fi connection's not doing so well, but. Anyway, I figured I'd just jump on the live feed and take a quick video of some of the tortoises. I don't know if you can, the air conditioning might be ruining the video, but these are some juvenile red foots I'm actually about to put up for sale on my page for around 175 each they're they're beautiful they're about four to five inches i was just giving them a soak before putting them up and taking pictures of them Russian tortoises. I gave them a bunch of cactus and romaine lettuce earlier and they kind of just made a huge mess, but it's all right. What defines a juvenile? Um, I usually just say juvenile once they're about two years old. A yearling I would consider like one to two years old and then once they're about two years old I would say juvenile about four to five inches My box turtles they're all hiding right now but anyway I figured I'd just jump on and take a live video I appreciate anybody watching and have a good night